Tuberculosis (TB) has been a long-standing challenge to global health. Despite significant progress in medical science, TB remains a formidable threat, impacting millions worldwide. This video delves into the various facets of tuberculosis, from its historical context to current challenges in diagnosis, treatment, and the global efforts to combat its spread. Historical Background Tuberculosis or TUB is not a new adversary, its history is interwoven with that of humanity. Historical records suggest that tuberculosis has afflicted humans for thousands of years. Often referred to as the White Plague in the 19th and early 20th centuries, TB was a leading cause of death. The quest for understanding and combating the disease led to significant breakthroughs, including the discovery of the Bacillus Calmet-Guerin (BCG) vaccine in the early 20th century. Causes of Tuberculosis Tuberculosis TB, is caused by the bacterium Mycobacterium tuberculosis. 1. Risk Factors Close contact, prolonged close contact with an individual with active TB increases the risk of transmission. Weakened immune system. Individuals with weakened immune systems, whether due to conditions like HIV, AIDS, malnutrition, or certain medications, like immunosuppressants, are more susceptible to TB. Infection and progression to active disease. Age. Infants and elderly individuals may be more vulnerable to TB due to variations in immune function. 2. Host pathogen interaction. Immune response, the body's immune system plays a crucial role in controlling TB infection. When the bacteria are inhaled, the immune system attempts to wall off the bacteria in a protective structure called a granuloma. In latent TB, the bacteria remain dormant within the granuloma. In active TB, the granuloma may break down, allowing the bacteria to multiply and cause symptoms. 3. Drug-resistant TB. Inadequate treatment, incomplete or inadequate treatment of TB can contribute to the development of drug-resistant strains. This occurs when the bacteria survive exposure to one or more TB drugs, making subsequent treatment more challenging. Transmission of tuberculosis. Tuberculosis, TB, is primarily transmitted through the air when an infected person with active TB. Disease expels respiratory droplets into the environment. The transmission of TB involves several key factors. Active TB disease. Transmission occurs predominantly from individuals with active TB disease. In these cases, the Mycobacterium tuberculosis bacteria are actively multiplying and causing symptoms such as coughing, which facilitates the release of infectious respiratory droplets. Airborne spread. TB is an airborne disease meaning the bacteria are carried in the air in tiny droplets known as aerosols. When a person with active TB coughs, sneezes, speaks, or even breathes, they release these infectious aerosols into the air. Inhalation of respiratory droplets. The primary mode of transmission is the inhalation of these infectious respiratory droplets by individuals in close proximity to the infected person. The droplets may contain viable Mycobacterium tuberculosis, and when inhaled, the bacteria can establish an infection in the respiratory system. Close and prolonged contact. Transmission is more likely to occur in situations involving close and prolonged contact with an individual who has active TB. This is particularly relevant in crowded settings such as households, healthcare facilities, prisons, or homeless shelters. Latent TB infection, LTBI. Individuals with latent TB infection, LTBI, do not actively transmit the bacteria. LTBI occurs when the immune system successfully contains the bacteria, and the person does not experience symptoms or spread the infection. However, LTBI individuals are at risk of developing active TB. In the future, signs and symptoms of tuberculosis. Tuberculosis, TB, can manifest with a range of signs and symptoms, and they can vary, depending on whether the infection is active or latent. It's important to note that individuals with latent TB infection, LTBI, do not experience symptoms and cannot spread the infection. However, when TB becomes active, it can affect various organs, most commonly the lungs. Here are the signs and symptoms associated with active TB disease. Persistent cough. Individuals with active TB often experience a cough that lasts for more than three weeks. The 
cough may produce sputum or phlegm, which can be bloody. Fatigue and weakness. General fatigue and weakness are common symptoms of active TB. This can be attributed to the body's immune response to the infection. Fever. Low-grade fever or high fever, especially in the late afternoon or evening, is a common symptom of active TB. Night sweats. Profuse sweating, particularly during the night, is a classic symptom of TB. Shortness of breath. As the infection progresses, it can affect the lungs and lead to difficulty breathing or shortness of breath. Chest pain. Chest pain may occur, particularly during coughing or breathing deeply. This can be associated with inflammation in the lungs. Extrapulmonary tuberculosis. Extrapulmonary tuberculosis, EPTB, is a form of tuberculosis that affects organs and tissues outside the lungs. While pulmonary tuberculosis, which primarily affects the lungs, is the most common form, mycobacterium tuberculosis can also infect and cause disease in various other depend on the specific site of infection. Common sites for extrapulmonary tuberculosis include lymph nodes, lymphatic TB. TB infection can affect the lymph nodes, leading to the development of enlarged and often painless swollen glands. Bones and joints, skeletal TB. TB can infect the bones and joints, resulting in symptoms such as joint pain, swelling, and limited mobility. Skeletal TB often affects the spine, POTS disease, but can involve other bones and joints as well. Meninges, tuberculous meningitis. Tuberculous meningitis is a severe form of extrapulmonary TB that affects the membranes surrounding the brain and spinal cord. Symptoms may include severe headaches, neck, stiffness, and neurological deficits. Pericardium, tuberculous pericarditis. TB can infect the pericardium, the membrane around the heart. Tuberculous pericarditis may cause symptoms such as chest pain, difficulty breathing, and fluid accumulation around the heart. Prevention and treatment of tuberculosis. Preventing tuberculosis, TB, involves a combination of strategies aimed at reducing the transmission of the bacteria, identifying and treating latent TB infection, and ensuring prompt and effective treatment for individuals with active TB disease. Here are key prevention measures for TB. 1. Vaccination. BCG vaccine, the Bacillus calmet green BCG, vaccine is used in many countries to prevent severe forms of TB, particularly in children. While it may not prevent all forms of TB, it can provide protection against severe forms like TB meningitis and military TB. 2. Early detection and treatment. Screening and testing. Identifying and treating TB cases early is crucial for preventing the spread of the disease. Individuals at higher risk, such as those with known TB exposure or weakened immune systems, may undergo TB testing. Treatment of latent TB infection, LTBI. Individuals with latent TB infection are at risk of developing active TB in the future. Treating LTBI with medications such as isoniazid or rifampin can significantly reduce the risk of progression to active disease. 4. Isolation and respiratory precautions. Individuals diagnosed with active TB should be isolated to prevent the spread of the bacteria. Respiratory precautions, including the use of masks, may be implemented in healthcare settings to protect healthcare workers and other patients. 5. Infection control measures. Ventilation. Adequate ventilation in indoor spaces helps disperse infectious aerosols, reducing the risk of TB transmission. Personal protective equipment. Healthcare workers should use appropriate personal protective equipment, e.g., masks, when caring for individuals with active TB. 6. Promoting adherence to treatment. TB treatment is a lengthy process, often involving a combination of antibiotics taken for several months. Ensuring that individuals complete the full course of treatment is crucial to prevent the development of drug-resistant strains. 7. Addressing social determinants. Poverty reduction, addressing social determinants such as poverty, malnutrition, and inadequate access to healthcare can contribute to TB prevention by reducing risk factors associated with the disease. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel.